I'm glad you're still alive in this awful heat. I didn't look forward at all to digging a grave for you and him. What happened? What happened? You asking me? Oh, someone tried to shoot your date and missed his mark. Young man, that's what happened to you. Well, your partner there could have told you the details, but he's dead. <laughs> You'll just have to try to remember. Why, I don't recall a thing. 
Don't remember, do you? All right, well, then I haven't seen anything at all. That's what you want. Now keep still. You lost a precious lot of blood, and I'm not digging no graves. But I don't remember. Your memory's left you, has it? I'm sorry I can't give it back to you. Your wound is only superficial. You can walk, young man. Hey, mister, I don't know where to head. That trail leads to Yerba Buena. It ain't far. It'll only take you a couple of hours. <laughs> if I was you, I'd get out of here mighty quick. <laughs> only dead men stay where they can shot at. Take it easy, Rebecca. Stop pushing. <laughs> Again, I said, Howdy, Luke Barrett. Why are you late? Where's Donovan? You were supposed to arrive here together. Here is your room. I'm a little tired. I like to sleep. When is Donovan coming? Later. We separated along the way. Those were not the orders.
Did something happen? What do you mean? <laughs> Scratch. When I fell. A rifle, caliber 44. Listen, my friend, you're off key. You better sleep on it. Tomorrow you can't risk being nervous. This is for now. The rest later. The meeting place is only a few miles from here. We'll go toward him. The moment you arrive in front of him, Plug in. And don't worry. I'll be shooting too. And I never miss. and beyonds. But that doesn't settle anything. They keep coming back. Well, when I catch them, I deport them. That's a law. The law provides that uncultivated lands are to be expropriated and granted to new homesteaders. But it is absolutely impossible to expropriate the farms because of these Mexican peons. You want me to shoot them? One thing is clear, the law is not sufficient. Get down. You're all three. Come on. Get down.
All right, let's go. What's say, Doc? Buenos dias, senor Barrett. Buenos dias, senor Barrett. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll solve your problems. That is. Hail Mary. Are they all right like this? I'll wait downstairs, Luke. Jonathan hasn't shown up yet. We'll go without him. Leave it there. You can't walk up to him with a rifle. You haven't got much confidence in me, have you? It's not easy to trust somebody like you. I don't meet a man every day who takes money to kill his own brother. Desperate extremes, extreme measures. What are you talking about, Robert? I took it upon myself to do something, Mr. Murphy. What, those two? They're two professionals, sir. They know what they're doing. Men who shoot and disappear. Got him where he wants him. The banks lost the battle. Circle the hill and hit the trail. I'll stay behind those rocks. Isn't it too far? Not with this. 
From 200 yards, my aim is as sure with this as it would be with a colt against a man's heart. There, he's coming. you draw your gun, I'll shoot. Let him get to his feet first. I'll see better. Friends, before voting, Let's make a couple things clear. Barrett hopes you won't sell the land to the bank. He guarantees that he already has. To find the farm hands, you need to save your property. His proposition is honest. If you cooperate with him, your land won't be robbed by those damn Yankees who killed your sons. Folks, it's a free vote. Each one of you can go if you choose, or you can stay. As proposed by Barrett. Let's begin the vote. Friends, the next one. sure you're not making a mistake, McCullum? I'm dead sure. No, you're not! I'm old. You can't tell the difference between black and white. Look. Look. My God, it's Luke. You're alive.
Hold it. Stay. Column. I'm selling the land, Barrett. You can't sell. Your wife and two sons are buried here. How can you think of abandoning your loved ones? Without farmhands, I can't work my land. I can't take care of the land myself. Last year, I reaped less than I sowed, so my mind's made up. I'm willing to help, McCollum. I already did. You? Sure, last year you helped me. And you took almost half of my land as the price for it. Get We all thought you died in the war. Where you been all these years, Luke? Who are you? What do you want? That's no question to ask, son. I'm the man who helped bring you into the world. And I put you back together again when your father carried your end broken up from head to toe. My eyes ain't what they used to be, but today I recognized you from far off just by the way you walked. What you say is true. If you're a doctor, then why don't you cure me? Help me get well. This? It's already healing up. Don't worry about it. No, no! That isn't it. It's inside my head. Inside of me is blackness. As if a light has gone out. I can't remember anything. You understand? I can't remember anything! I 
I don't even know who I really am. Sometimes forgetting is the only way a man can survive, my boy. I've been trying with this. There. Doctor. Tell me the name of my brother. Remembers nothing. He was wounded in the head. And the shock has deprived him of his memory. He doesn't know who he is or where he is. Go on. Well, you see, when the brain receives an injury on the one side, the consequences can affect the other side of the body. Luke was wounded on the right side of his head, you see, which had an effect on his left arm. You must have noticed. He shot with his right hand, though he's always been left-handed. What do you want? I want my brother. Barrett, your brother killed this man. This man was hired to kill me. What happened to my men who were accompanying the peons to the border? I don't give a damn about your men. My brother's in jail. Bring him out. He's shot in self-defense. You can go, you're free. Better keep an eye on him. They saw him last night with the man he killed, and he sure knew where to shoot. The thing looks bad. game, you know. I easily might have plugged you if I hadn't known the rifle wasn't loaded. You knew it wasn't loaded? When you put a bullet in a gun, the sound is different. Your ear's as good as your eye. You're the only one who saw that bastard who wanted to kill me. He was behind you. I was facing him. Welcome home, brother. Great idea you had, Robert. Did you think Luke Barrett would really kill his own brother? Mr. Murphy, all he had to do was shoot him down. You know, everything was planned so that it would look like a family feud. And nobody would have suspected the bank. Luke, the doctor says you're going to be all right. Come on, let's have a drink.
Howdy, Barrett. Come on, sit down. Give me a bottle. Thank you. I heard someone tried to play a little song for you this morning. I want you to send the girls down. I sure will. To old times. Times are over forever. Everything's changed around here. All new faces here about. We're all that's left, just the three of us. Just the three of us. Stand back, Cullum. He wanted to sell us his property. He was coming to sign the contract. This is murder ordered by Barrett. I have no evidence, Mr. Murphy. Nobody will swear witness to what you say. Too many loose bullets flying around here. Barrett. Let's talk to you. Talk. All right. Then everybody can hear what I have to say. When I set up my bank here after the war, there was nothing but a handful of miserable huts. Now we're living in a big town. Bank money helped to do this by using new labor sources, by building. We have plenty of good farmland, which is completely abandoned and uncultivated. Nobody will sell it. No one will sell. Because you, Barrett, will go to any lengths to stop them from selling out, using blackmail and threats. And when that doesn't work, murder, assassination. You won't make it. Believe me. Because you're fighting on the wrong side. You're going against progress. And I'm telling you, nobody can stop progress. Come on, come on, girl. Give him a great big smile. Come on, Jerry, smile. It's not going to hurt you. <laughs> Hi, you duck. Give me a couple of bottles. The special. It's on the house. Drinks for everybody. The more, the merrier. <laughs> Good old times, this one wasn't around. Progress brought her here. And I'm going to take advantage of this progress. So they won't accuse me of being against progress. A new boy like progress too, hmm? How about you? Me? At my age, I just can't manage to stay in there with progress, no.
Look, you've come back. Oh, my darling son, I didn't expect you so soon. Breakfast's not on the table yet. Sam's been getting older and he's much slower now. Where's my cane, Luke? Sam always forgets to leave it by my chair. Will you help me, Luke? Thank you. Help me up now. Everybody's still asleep. Let's go wake them up. <laughs> you know, it rained a lot this winter, and my joints are a little rusty. Next time I go to town, I must ask for a good remedy. No use asking Dr. Russell. He always says it depends on age. Oh, I never believe him anymore. It's just that my joints are a little rusty, that's all. Wake up, Pa. Luke is waiting. Breakfast will be ready in a minute. Be sure to wet your hair when you comb it. Otherwise, you'll be looking just awful. Susan. <laughs> now, don't take advantage of your condition. I've had two sons. Without remaining in bed all day, get up, dear. Dr. Russell says it's going to be a boy. He's never made a mistake, that rascal. What name are you going to give the child, Luke? I don't want to influence you, my son, but Pa would certainly be glad if you named it after him. Naturally. It's up to you and Susan to take a final decision, dear son. Victor? Victor? Do you hear? Why don't you answer me? Victor? Don't you want to see Luke? Now we're all together again. But why do you still insist on being silent? Victor. Look, where's Victor? Why didn't he come back with you? Yourself. Now she's asleep. Tide. Who's inside? I thought I'd find you here. How'd you know the way? I want to know if this is our house, Victor. It once was. What did she tell you? But why is she alone living in this house? She's ill and needs care. I tried, but I couldn't convince her to move. She's happy here. I want to know what's going on. Come with me. I want to talk to you. War destroyed everything. Yeah, yeah. The young men were killed. There aren't enough hands left to work the land. The bank, 
I want the people to sell the land. It's a filthy business. Yeah! What are you planning to do now? I have a married sister in St. Louis. I'll live with her. I've packed my things already. And the property? My father came to town to sign your contract, but he was killed. You know I'm heir to everything. And I'm selling out. Robert, get the contract from Miss McCollum here right away. And immediately inform the first family of homesteaders to come here. Best thing, my girl. Buenas. This is how I solve the problem of extra hands. This is my house. Buenas tardes, señor padre. Buenas, Juan. Do you find many? Only twelve, señor. Many more want to come, but they are afraid to cross the border. See you here. You're back with us again. I had to tell you something important. But now I can't recall anymore. Victor. What happened during all these years to our family, huh? the North, and they shot him as a traitor. <coughs> Our mother's grief was so great she went mad. Didn't I have a wife about to have a baby? She went to town alone. While she was driving the wagon back to the ranch, Yankee soldiers ordered her to stop, but she refused. She was immediately shot down. And we? What were we doing when all this was going on? Fighting the war. Like every man was. We'd organized a group of volunteers, but they were all killed by the Yankees. Then you went away to join the regular Confederate Army. I purposely stayed here in order to defend our homes and also to save our land. But now that you're back, we'll fight together again. No. It's not the land I'm interested in. You should take an interest. My enemies are yours now. Now I remember what I wanted to tell you. McCullum's land was sold to the bank.
Killed yesterday, a friend of yours. What do you want to know that for, Sheriff? Well, they say the two of you were having a drink together. Yes, and I'm drinking with you. Another thing, you were traveling with a man by the name of Donovan. Tell me why he isn't here. It's a big country. Anyone can go where he wants. That's exactly what I think, too. Yep, if it didn't come here, I guess that means he's somewhere or other. Perhaps. Good night, Sheriff. And Dingus. That name carved on the butt of your rifle. Who is he? I don't know. young and beautiful. Thank you, sir. You should be happy. I am, sir. We're aiming to have a large family, especially since my wife has no trouble with childbirth. And this place is meant for a lot of children. It's a fine town and the land is good. <laughs> Are you sure this land is good, mister? Of course I am. It's real good. You can tell that. <laughs> then eat it! <laughs> I said, eat it. Leave him alone. Now, do you think it's as good as you thought it was? Better think hard. Because if you stay here, you're going to be buried in it. Henry! Henry! What are they 
done to you? Andiamocene via, non è un posto per noi questo, andiamocene via! Talk to you. All right, talk to me. My house is around here. My father was the town preacher. He was the one who married you. And Susan. Back there, all the young men of our town were killed fighting against the Yankees. Susan used to go every day to take them flowers. And she'd pray for you to come back. She was expecting a child. Go on, please. I saw her body filled with bullets when the wagon stopped in front of our veranda. She was in pain, hardly breathing. She gave me a locket before she died there. She gave you this. And what did she say? Give it to Luke when he comes back. And say... Say that it was Dingus. Is that all? But who's Dingus? I don't know. In Mexico, the name is used to mean a bastard dog. Benvenida, senor. There's a free table. We also have many rooms, clean and quiet. Looking for anyone, senor? You know, I could help you. I know everyone. Do you know Dingus? You said Dingus, senor? I said Dingus. No, but... I know someone, senor, who knows everything. Take me to the someone who knows everything. Vamos, senor.
come in. Come in, senor. Who did it? We found him on the road. I said, who did it? Peter, call him in. <laughs> this blood will mean more blood. You try to kill me. Now you take it out on my brother. Better get out of here. You damn well know I didn't do it. Are you coming out or do I have to get you? Follow your example, Parrot. Now I've got the guns to back me up. You drove out the homesteaders, but more will come tomorrow. And this time they'll be protected not by the law, but with guns. Is it war you want, Murphy? Well, you'll get it. Do you hear that, Sheriff? Do you hear that, everybody? He wants war. Well, he's got it! Let's go! Thinking, make it, boy? Luckily, you come from good, hardy stock. Got strong bones, boy. With a little rest, you'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, you Barretts are certainly an odd breed. <laughs> that was our father's. The barrel is reinforced to stand a heavy powder load, and with the wide end, it can spray out a real bouquet of bullets. He worked on it a long time in order to modify it. He built it like a cannon, and it worked. The only thing was, it took too long to reload. The Yankees were equipped with repeaters. How do you know about that? 
You weren't there. Our mother was there. Soldiers don't shoot women. She was spared. How about my wife? They spare her. The ones who did it were drunk, maybe. How do you know? You weren't there. All I know is one thing. My wife was killed by one man. And now I'm aiming to find that killer. By luck, there's still someone to help me remember. What do you know about this man? Just now I know one thing, that his name's Dingus. What's the matter, Doctor? You getting nervous? When a man gets to know everything there is, he's a dead man for sure. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Sam. Sam. Thank you. <laughs> now one of the bride and groom. Come on. <laughs> now move a little bit more to your left. Ready? Smile. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope all your days will be as happy as this one is. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> so is Thank you, Victor. Now, come on, children. Sam's waiting for us. Let's all sit down to table. Oh, look, it's the happiest day of my life. Susan, I promised you it's going to last forever. <laughs> I don't see Dingus. You didn't forget to invite him, Ma. His mother's sick in bed. I'd like to come with you, boys. But someone's got to stay behind. Goodbye, Dad. Good luck, son. Don't worry, children. We'll soon see you all back. What about Dengus? Is he coming with us? He disappeared a couple of days ago. Come on. Yeah.
respect. money, don't you? After all, it's simply a matter of shooting someone. You shot plenty of men in the war. In the war, it was different. There was plenty of reason. Isn't a thousand dollars reason enough? Not by me. I'm not shooting one I don't know. Who said you don't know it? Charlie's waiting for us at the hotel. We'll go into town as soon as it gets dark. I'm waiting for you. did this to you? Because he thought I told you everything. A bullet burns worse than alcohol after it enters your body. Luke, I would have told you everything, but, but I knew that you'd get killed for that. Believe me, Luke. I do, Doctor. 
leave me here. I, I don't feel anything. I'll sleep now. I'll sleep like I never have. Don't waste any more time. not Peter. It's Luke. He's still alive. You idiot. Before you load. It's your turn now. Come and find me. cheating. This time I'm going to make sure. Dear brother. <coughs> Don't call me brother. I'm not your brother. Questa è la mia terra. 
Hai sterminato la mia famiglia per impossessarti di tutto. Ma sei rimasto un piccolo bastardo indiano! My mother was the daughter of a chief. This land belonged to the Indians. Before the Yankees got here, it was mine by right. Your father was also mine, and I was born before you and your brother Victor. I was ashamed of my Indian mother and married a white woman, your mother. <laughs> But the rights to everything are still mine, only mine! You have no right to anything! Dingus! I'm waiting for you! Here I am! you the owner of all the land in the world. Thank you. 